trauma is often the trigger, but is not the diagnosis uh, in terms of lower limb ulcers developing. It's the underlying venous disease that's very often the issue. And as we discussed, um, due to the location of lower limb wounds, the risk of these developing into ulceration and complex wounds can become, um, is highly likely. And then they become very difficult to heal and negatively impact on the patient's quality of life. Unmanaged swelling can create delays in wound healing and poorly managed wounds can become debilitating for patients with increased pain and extra dates and reduced mobility. And you know, it becomes very really difficult for the patient to keep themselves well. And I'm sure a lot of you have seen this in, in clinical practice. Malcompression results in improved patient experience in terms of the faster healing rates. And in, as far as uh, sustainable health care is, is concerned, we've seen in earlier slides that wound care contributes to significant investment of time from clinicians and money from our healthcare system. So in order to contribute to sustainable health care, we all have the responsibility to to ensure that we, we use our resources effectively. The last link on this slide is to another webinar which was produced early this year by Accelerate and the International Skin Tear Advisory Panel, which is available for you to view and concentrates specifically on skin tears and their link to lower limb wounds.